In this revision section, we will revise some of our basic concepts, where our ultimate goal is to cover these contents in a quick session. So let's start with geometric mean. Geometric mean is helpful to find the average for percentage and for index number. To calculate geometric mean, we use this formula and we can read it as geometric mean equals to nth root of the product of n positive values. We can also write this formula as. For example, if we have data of opening day of four blockbuster movies and we have to calculate geometric mean. And as because there are four observations, we can write this formula as. All mean calculation will be done in this way. And for power option, we will click here. In regular scientific calculators, the power option is here or sometimes this button is used for power option. Median is preferred for ordinal scale and it is the value that divides the arranged data set into two equal parts. So to calculate median, we first need to arrange data set in order from the lowest to the largest value. In case of odd number of observations, median is the middle value of arranged data. And for even number of values, the median is the mean of two middle values of arranged data set. If we have to simplify data set in term of different positions, then we need to study quartiles, deciles and percentiles. For example, to calculate median in married couples example, we first need to arrange data set as the data set contains the odd number of observations, the median is middle value, that is 13. And if there are even number of observations, again arrange the data set. And now the median is the mean of two middle values. The result is 15 and a half years. Mod is most frequent value in data set. As in last example, all values occur at the same number of time there is no mod and if we add few values in the data set then in this situation mod is this value if you calculate mean median and mod from same data set and all three measures are equal such a distribution is called symmetrical distribution if mean is greater than median and median is greater than mod this type of distribution is called positive skewed distribution and if mean is the lowest value than other two measures, then in this situation, it is a negative secure distribution. Sometimes we want to find the average where the values have not equal importance. Then we associate certain numerical values as weighting factor to express their relative importance. These values are called weights. It is calculated by this formula. For example, a student who had studied four subjects of different creditors and according to the grade list, he got these grade points. To calculate GPA, we use this formula and we make another column of product of weights and values and then get the required sums, put the values in the formula and get the final result. In second section, we will discuss the coefficient of variation that is used to express the variation in percentage and it is independent of unit of measurement. Here is a formula for calculating coefficient of variation where s is standard deviation and x bar is average. Again here the previous example is used but now we calculate the coefficient of variation. As we have already learned to calculate mean and standard deviation, just put their values in the formula and we get the variation in term of percentage is just more than 11%. The best way to understand the rise and fall in prices of commodities available in the market is index number. The formula for calculating an index number is given as where the base price refers to the price in term of which we have to compare the other prices. And yes, the index number for base year is always 100. 
Generally, we use these two methods to calculate price index. The first one is aggregative method and the next one is average of relative method. In example, the prices of three commodities are given and we need to calculate index number by using aggregative method and average of relative method by taking 1990 as base. In aggregative method, we first aggregate all prices year-wise and then calculate index number. As 1990 is base year, means base value is 70. And for each current year, now we calculate the index number, which tells us the prices of these daily items can be seen more than 7 rupees in 1991 as compared to 1990. And in 1992, it has been recorded more than 14 rupees. And in average of relative method, we first find the price index. That means for rice, the base price is 24. For wheat, the base price is 22. And for barley, the base price is 24. Then we apply average and normally we prefer geometric mean. Every human being is always very curious to know what will happen in future. On the basis of our gut feelings or past experience, we make some guesses. There we found a certain amount of doubt always exists. This doubt in statistics is actually called uncertainty and uncertainty is measured by probability. When we determine probability by using this formula, more conveniently we can write this formula as to know what actually the event, sample space and sample points are, let's walk through an example. When roll a dice, all possible results are here. Rolling a dice is an experiment and sample space is actually the all possible results of this experiment. Elements in sample space are called sample points and the event actually what we desire to occur. Normally event is denoted by capital alphabetic letters A, B, C and sample space by S. It is better to write it numerically. It has 6 sample points and we want to check the probability that 6 will occur. Let this event is noted by A. Now take all possible sample points that match your desire. And there we found 6 appears only one time. So that the number of sample points in this event is only 1. Now we can calculate the probability by putting the values in the formula. The result shows that probability of occurring 6 is about 17% when we roll a dice. Sample space for rolling two dice and the number of sample points is 36. We use another method to count the number of sample points in sample space. We want to know that how many sample points when we roll two dice result is 36 sample points. Similarly when we roll three dice in this situation the sample points are 2, 1, 6. Two or more events are occurring together then we need to learn some basic laws of probability where the most commonly used additional and multiplication laws of probability. Additional law will take place when the word OR will come between two or more events. If two events are occur together in such a way that they have no sample point in common, in this situation additional law is defined as. And statistically such events are called mutually exclusive events. And if any sample point is common, such events can define as. Where the multiplication law will take place when the word AND will come between two or more events. Then we use these formulas for dependent and independent events. We use different probability distributions when we deal with random variables. If the random variable is of discrete type, we mostly prefer binomial and Poisson distribution. Binomial distribution is useful when the random experiment has only two possible outcomes, just as success or failure for each trial. And Poisson distribution is useful to describe the probability of events that occurred in time, region or area. Normal distribution is the most important and frequently used probability distribution and we use this formula to calculate the probability of a normal random variable. But we prefer here to measure the probability by its standard case called standard normal probability distribution. This is because here we can find its value from a table rather than to handle the complex calculations. To make use of standard normal distribution, we first need to transform our random variable into standard normal random variable by using this formula. 
after transformation we follow these three cases mostly in our practical life if this situation happens after transformation with less than sign we directly check the probability of transformed numerical value the second case is about greater than sign so here we first check the table value of transformed constant value and then subtract it from one and if there are two values as given in third situation then we subtract the table value of smaller transformed value from table value of larger transformed number now let's take a practical example where the candidates have taken on average 500 marks with 100 marks variation and we need to check the probability of different situations let x be the marks of candidates with population mean 500 and population standard deviation 100 the first question is to find the probability that candidate receive less than 400 marks so we first transform the random variable x into standard normal variable we subtract average and divide it by standard deviation and what we have performed here we'll have to do other side of inequality this side will become standard normal random variable after the simplification we get minus one numerical value that is actually the case one now we check directly the table value of transformed numerical value to see the table value we will require two digits after decimal place leading digit before decimal place and first digit after decimal place are to be matched here and the last digit after decimal place is seen from here. For minus 1, the value is 0 0.15866. It means about 16% chance to get less than 400 marks. In second question, we check the probability of more than 700 marks. Again, transform it to standard normal random variable. After transformation, it looks like it is a case number 2. Here we subtract table value from 1. The final result tells us just more than 2% chance of getting more than 700 marks. And thirdly, we have this situation. Again, transform in Z, that is the case number 3, where we subtract the table value of smaller transform value from larger value. Tells us the chances to get between 400 and 600 marks are more than 68%. Subscribe my channel Toolkits and press the bell icon to follow me on YouTube. Stay tuned.